Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a way to easily get your first 5 star as well as another way to get a 5 star of your choice when Honkai Star Rail does release based on the beta 3. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So in Honkai Star Rail, I have talked about this certain feature in my other video or rather this certain banner, but when you do begin the game, there is a standard promotional banner. This standard promotional banner has all of these standard characters on it and with this banner, you'll basically be able to get any of those five stars within a discounted amount of pulls. The discounted amount of pulls is only eight for each 10 pull. So while it technically says that you need 50 pulls, in reality, you only need 40, which I think is awesome. It's a great way to get your very first five star in the game. You can probably get it within a week of playing or less to get all those tickets, assuming we do get some launch day goodies, which is always awesome. So I think that's an excellent way for them to start off the game, especially for people, you know, as we all play the game, we'll all definitely want our own five star. So I think this is an awesome way for us to get our own five star as well. And in the game, there are light cones, which are essentially the weapons. If you were to think of it as in Honkai Impact, where you have your weapon and the character or in Genshin Impact, where you have the character and their weapon. But in this game, they are called light cones and light cones, once again, are the weapons. A cool thing about light cones is that there is a way to get the standard character light cones. It is a bit grindy though, or rather not necessarily grindy, it's more so time consuming due to the fact that you need to get it from getting starlight. You get starlight from basically summoning characters or summoning, I believe it's only characters or light cones of higher rarity, so maybe 4 star and above, you get starlight. Starlight is a way, once again, it's like Genshin in a sense, where you can get passes, which the Star Rail passes are like intertwined fates. You can get Star Rail passes this way, which it's 20 per Star Rail pass. You can also get four Star Rarity characters this way, and I'm assuming the way it works is that it's probably a monthly basis it resets. If you spend 140 in the Starlight Exchange store and it says that it's the Embers, then you'll be able to get one of them but alongside them is actually the light cones. And just so if you are enjoying this video so far and it is helping you out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and now let's carry on. Which I'm pretty sure these light cones will be there every month, but they are actually the five star light cones that are meant for the standard characters. There's a Himiko one, there's a Clara one, there's a Bailu one, a Branya one, and so on. All of them have one. And I think that's super awesome that there is a way to get their signature light cones as well. Once again though, this is a way that is a bit tedious or rather time consuming as I said, since you need to basically, you just gotta keep summoning in the game and just save your embers and then you'll eventually be able to get these light cones or the characters or if you want more passes instead, that works too. But it is cool that there is a way to get the five star light cone so you don't really have to stress about that. And in the promotional standard banner that is only technically 40 pulls, you can only get a five star character and not a five star light cone. I know a few people were concerned if you could possibly get a light cone. No, you can only get a character. And in the normal standard banner, which has a normal pity of 90, you can get light cone or character. Now, the next way to get a five star character, which this way is way more rather passive than you can do it right away. The only way you could do it right away is if you spend money, but passively you can do this. Once you reach 300 pulls on the standard banner, you will actually be able to pull any five star of the standard banner. Let's say you've been pulling in the game and let's just say you do spend money or you don't spend money, either or. You've been pulling in the game, some time passes, you really want Branya. That, that would be me. I really want Branya. <laughs> but let's just say you really want Branya. Then if you do not have her and you do get these 300 pulls made on only the standard banner, it's not on the limited, unfortunately, it's only on the standard. Got to keep that in mind. Then you can actually get Branya, and this is only a one time thing. So although it is only a one time thing, it's still awesome that it exists. And while you're doing this, you will probably hit around four pities since it's 90 a pity. So 180 times two is roughly 360. So if you get lucky, you'll hit four pities. If you don't get lucky, then you'll maximum hit three pities and be on your way to the fourth pity. And the cool thing about this is hypothetically, if you get that Branya, like for me, I want that Branya. So if I were to get Branya while I'm doing these 300 pulls or over the vast time that I play the game and then I eventually get enough pulls 
or I just keep pulling until I eventually hit 300, I might get her along the way. So then if I already have Branya, I can use this on somebody else. Like let's say I wanted Bailu as my second choice, I can now use it on Bailu. So I think this is an awesome thing. I know that it's really, really passive. Since most people who are free to play, obviously you are not gonna get 300 pulls like week one. That's a really high number of pulls, but it is a way to passively work towards getting who you want from that standard banner. So once again, if you want like, if you really want Himiko, then you can do that for Himiko. You really want Branya. You could do it for all of those standard characters. So overall, I think this is honestly an awesome feature. And I think it's a great way for us to passively get who we want. Cause after playing the beta of this game, and I've only been playing it for roughly a week, but I will like to say I'm loving the game so far. The game is definitely character oriented, but I feel like you can also obviously like get away with playing with characters you really like. Like I know all these standard five star characters, they're all really good in what they do. Since all of them do something different, they are not one of the same, and they all have nice perks to them that make them a unique character that'd be awesome to add to your team. Because I have had a few people ask me, oh, who's like, I guess the best one? Technically speaking, the best one would be the one that is most needed on your team. Let's say you really needed a healer and Natasha is a four star healer and in the beta you do get her for free eventually. It's just, I believe throughout the story you get her for free. But let's just say that you want somebody other than Natasha, like Natasha's not cutting it or you just do not have her yet. Bailu is probably one of the better healers or in fact, probably the best healer in the game. So then you can actually just snag a Bailu and then there you go. So I just love this feature. I think it's amazing and I have really high hopes for the game. I've been making, you know, a lot of videos on the game so far and I definitely plan to continue. I love this game, love the beta. Everything about it is so like, it feels so fresh and fun and I've just been having an awesome time and I would love for you guys to experience that with me. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know down in the comments below if you feel like the standard promotional I mentioned, that banner is if it's fair. And also if you think that the 300 poll thing is really nice as well, or if you think it's way too much. Personally, I think that it's a fine number. Like I know it's a lot of polls, but you have to consider the fact that, well, it's just an added bonus. They didn't have to put that in as a lot of games actually do not have that. I know like Genshin doesn't have it. If it did, it'd be awesome. I'd personally love if Genshin had it, but unfortunately it is not. So I think it's really cool that Star All does have that. And I feel like it's a, it's a nice touch, especially for MiHoYo to make in a game of theirs. It's a really nice touch to have that. So personally, I think it's really fair. I really like it. You can passively work towards getting who you really want, which once again, for me, it would be Branya. And you guys can let me know in the comments down below which standard character you most want or which character you just really like in the game. And yeah, I hope you all have a nice one. Peace.